Hey guys, it's me, a little far fetched, and welcome back to Pokemon. Yeah, I want to continue the Black Celebrations. Pokemon Night Platinum. Today, I've got everyone leveled up to level 62, as you can see here. But, in between episodes, I had enough time. I also prepared just in case we happen to get a death in the series. I prepared Bronzong and Galvantula to level 62 as well, so in case we ever have. If we ever lose a Pokemon, we now have two extra ones ready to replace. Galvantula, because I wanted Galvantula. I've never used a Galvantula before. And Bronzong, because uh, my highest level Pokemon other than that is Sunkern. And I can't find a Sunstone. And... Hold on. Sunkern is literally the worst Pokemon that probably exists. If I was training this thing for the Nuzlocke challenge, I would probably I would probably lose. I'd probably get rid of it'd probably die. So, now that we got a high level Pokemon, I think we are at the next... I think we're at... Yeah, that's that gym down there. So, I believe I've also managed to acquire a fly. It was in, I think, the hotel down here? I believe it was in... Not in this house, because that place is locked. But in this place, I'll see if I can't find the trainer. Real quickly. Well, if this person would move, I could find the trainer. There we go. It's this trainer right here that gives you fly. He gives you fly, and I taught Unpheasant it because it was literally the only Pokemon that could learn fly on my team. And let me just check the fly map. I don't know if I actually have a town map. I probably do, just haven't used it. No, I don't even have a... Why do I have a Team Steam uniform? I can look like Team Steam! Look at that, I'm walking around the town with a Team Steam uniform. Does it reset? Yeah, it resets. Every time you go into a building. So, let's check our fly menu. And I think we need to go this way, but we can also go this way? I don't know if anybody's blocked off. We're gonna go up first. Because it looks like you can go both paths. I just wanna go up. We've already got our two encounters over here. I might even... What? What are those, like... I might even train up another Pokemon that I catch in a later route. Train it up to level 62 or whatever Pokemon level. I get by the end of this episode. So then I'll have three Pokemon that are the same level as my Pokemon ready to go for if I happen to lose a Pokemon to the Nuzlocke challenge, which I've only lost two. Brave was during an episode. I lost it, then used my revive, then lost it again. And then... I lost a Ralts named Garden in between episodes, trying to train it up. And I was not going to lie and say I didn't lose that Pokemon, because I'm not going to do that. That's just lying to myself and lying to others. Ooh, we can get an ice Pokemon here, I bet. Please give me a good ice Pokemon. Seal? That's not bad. Now, can I catch this thing? I don't know how many Pokeballs I have. They're here. Oh, I can definitely catch this thing. Let's see... Seal's Gen 3... Learn set. 
Ooh, it can learn Ice Beam. I love that move. Uh, it can also, through HM, it can learn Surf, Waterfall, and Dive. But in a Nuzlocke, primarily, you're supposed to have your team. Seals and Moltres, confirmed. I'm gonna call him Flame, because I saw Flame in the name. Usually in a Nuzlocke, you're supposed to have the team that you carry with you be the one to learn the HMs. Sent to a PC. I might train him up. If I get another Pokemon in this episode, I might train it up instead. I just kind of like actually training up Pokemon in between episodes. It's real fun. Vaporeon. Having second downs about this being an ice cave. But yeah, our team is stacked. Level 62. I probably don't have to do any more training on my main team for the rest of the series. Unless, because I know the final person of. I know the final Elite Four member, the champion, has level 77 Pokemon, so if we can't get around that level... ...once we get there, then I might... ...train up a little bit. I want at least 75. So I'm not gonna train to level 77, so I can easily beat. I'm probably gonna do what I usually do, and get two Pokemon, like, level 73, two Pokemon level 75, then two Pokemon 77. I mean, she's saying it's really cold in this cave. I don't know why I've not seen a single ice Pokemon yet. Seal's technically an ice Pokemon, I'd say that. But it's more of a water Pokemon as well. There's what I was thinking. It's a snow run. Yeah, I'm going to put on a repel because I don't want to see Pokemon every two steps. I know I have repel. Don't tell me I don't. Okay, let's go this way, see if there's anything over there. There's nothing over here, but there might be an item. I wish I had, like, a dowsing rod. Not a dowsing rod, the dowsing machine. That's the item that gets you the items, right? What? What was I expecting in an ice cave? Honestly. What was I expecting in an ice cave? So, as you can see here, we've got a bit of a ice puzzle. Isn't that just my favorite part of these Pokemon games? I can't wait to try to get to this ice puzzle only to lose. <sighs> I'll just be here for the next 20 minutes. TM07. What is this one? No, I didn't figure it out.
Are you kidding me? Is there some place I'm not looking? I've just run away. Don't take this from me. Let me see what TMO7 is, because I'm never going to hail. I'm never getting out of this. Oh, maybe. I don't know what that accomplished. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes! I did it. it Seems like there should have been something over there. Okay, I can definitely assume that's going to be an ice trainer, so let's just switch over to... Our tank against ice Pokemon, Charizard. I have not heard that music before. That is awesome music. Flamethrower, or I could use Lava Surf, but I'm gonna use Flamethrower. She's got a Jinx, a Celio, which kind of resists the water attacks, but also doesn't. I mean, the fire attacks, but also doesn't when I use Flamethrower. It's going to be neutrally effective, but that's still going to take it out in one hit. Please say that's the only ice puzzle we really have to do. Ice heal. I don't think I've seen a single one of these since starting this playthrough. For some reason, the stores were only selling... <coughs> <coughs> some reason, the stores were only... Selling... Ice... Awakenings... Paralyzed Heals... And Poison Heals... Well, Antidotes. Is that the end of this cave? No, it's not. When will it ever be the end of this cave? I'm gonna guess you have the same exact Pokemon as the last trainer, because this game loves to repeat trainers. Not saying that's a bad thing, but... It really helps predict... What... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry! Sorry! <sighs> Oh, I don't remember Frostlass. It really does help predict what you're going to be up against. Oh, I need another lucky egg. Wow. <clears throat> okay, that's definitely a rock trainer. Or, you know, psychic. That works too. Does that raise, like, the special defense? I 
think that raises. No, it just raises defense. And special defense. I was half right. And Soul Rock. Did it. Because I'm, I'm the best at this. Oh no, our repel wore off. It's not like I have seven more. Depending on how long this cave is, those could be useless. Hello? Well, you see, it's not hard to make ice tech super. Ice attacks super effective against grass attacks because they kind of already are. Oh, Matang, that's not ice. Not even close. Okay, that seems like a place where I do not want to go. Let me just check, see what I can see over here. I see Team Steam. That may be a place I want to go. Let me just quickly switch over to Crocona. I always call him Crocona. I think Soul Rock is a fire rock type, which would make sense, why? No, because I was using... I don't know. I don't know anymore. Yeah, let's just see what's over here. Let me just steal this from you real quickly. Hey, you. No one goes through here. Okay, looks like I'm not going through here. They made it very clear. Mount Winter. What is this place? Mount Ice Storm. We got a new encounter. If there is encounters over here. Wow, oh, you have a full team. But because you... <coughs> I'm coughing so bad. Um, because they suck as trainers, they don't have an Alakazam.
Hmm, that's a little bit of a switch. Aqua Tail. Hmm. I have to give a pass on that move. Let's have another full team of the same Pokemon. Yep, it's the same Pokemon. I can't believe we're on like episode. I think this is episode 10, last time I checked. And. We are just getting to the seventh gym. This game went by quickly. Also, we're at the seventh gym, and I'm level 62. Now 63 on Croconaw. Who I always call Croconaw, even though it's... A for alligator. Can never call it by the right name. Ooh, there's a Pokeball. What could I have inside? TM14. Can I just skip this trainer? Yes, I can! <coughs> I'm fine. It's another full team of the same Pokemon. I'm not saying that this game is terrible. It's like an amazing fan game. Like I don't know how these people make these fan games, but I just kind of wish some of the teams weren't repetitive. But come on, there's a lot of Pokemon in this game. As far as I can see it so far, I've seen up to Gen 5 Pokemon. You can't out of the, like, what, 600 Pokemon in total that there is? I think, like, 630? Actually. Yeah, there we go. I wasn't getting encounters because... Oh, that's a dupes clause. I wasn't getting encounters. Because I was in repel mode. Oh, Swablu! <coughs> I'll take it. Now I need a name. I need to think of a name for this Pokemon. Hmm. It's a male, I'm gonna call him, but we couldn't call the 
Uh... You know, Zubat. Golbat. Whatever. Steve. Hey, I was waiting for you. I guess you don't know me. But I've heard many stories about you, and when I learned that you were in Mount Ice Storm, I knew you'd come along here. Kratos. One of the leaders of Team Steam is trying to catch legendary black and white Pokemon, so I need your help to stop them. My name is Cynthia! I'm the champion of the Sinnoh region! I hope that together we can win. Can I put on a repel first? There we go. Another Team Steam member! Staraptor! I like this Pokemon. Okay. Oh, this Pokeball. Free item. I want it. Silk Scarf. I have no idea what that does. Let me just check real quickly on the side. Uh, introduced in Generation 3. Boost the power of normal type moves. This is the same team, isn't it? Level 64! And Falgator is now the fourth Pokemon on the team to break level 200. To break the HP of 200. Okay, when I wanted different Pokemon, I didn't want this thing because this thing sucks. And it's terrible to try to take down. I hate. I hate. <clears throat> Gastrodon. Please have a different team. <clears throat> and of course not. Shadow Claw, I might have to 
switch the attack whenever Blow Pony comes out because normal attacks can't affect ghosts and ghosts can't affect normal. Although, for some reason, normal attacks, uh, fighting attacks can be, fighting can be affected by ghost attacks. Yet, yeah, fighting can't affect ghosts. Any item over here? Well, it's another cave, but it's probably not. Why did the music go silent? What is up here? Yeah, there's no music, and it's really creepy up here. Let's go the other way. Let's go back. I think I might have just accidentally discovered part of the cave that's going to be used later for the end of the story. And... Guard of War. And then another Kadabra. And then an opening. Because all this game wants to do right now is repeat Pokemon. Speaking of Pokemon, one thing that we haven't gotten since its announcement was another trailer for Sword and Shield. I can't wait to see new information on that game. I really hope, because E3 is coming up, I think, soon, I think, like within a few weeks, it's going to be E3. And that's when a lot of games usually release a bunch of trailers and stuff for, like, upcoming games and stuff. So I really hope in the Nintendo E3 we get some Pokemon information. Is that literally just the same place I was? But on the other side of the mountain? And if we get some Pokemon information... I just went back in on accident. If we get some Pokemon information, I really hope it's about Sword and Shield. Because right now, we know the name of the region. And the Pokemon... The starter Pokemon that are going to be a part of it. Ha ha ha, I'm about to beat the Sinnoh Champion. I guess I can go around. <gasps> Young man, welcome to the grand finale. Cynthia told me that she sent someone to stop me, but I never imagined it was someone as pathetic as you. You're too late anyway. Reshiram and Zekrom have already been released. Now I can capture the two of them and finally achieve our goals. But before I do that, I'll crush you like the bug you are. I think that's the advent music. It would make sense if it is. Level 51. Okay, the level's... Grew. Umbreon? I don't know if I actually have a type that can affect that. If I had Galvantula, Bug type is super effective against Dark. What actually is super effective against Dark? Fighting.
Yes, Tadpole has a fighting move. I don't have a fairy Pokemon, I don't even know if fairy is in this realm, heck. Oh, yay. Oh, come on. It was right there on the health. Ooh, that's dragon type. The only thing I have super fight against dragon <clears throat> on my team is ice. Right. Or, you know, for some reason, Rock. Oh, no, that's just Dragonite. <clears throat> Dragon type isn't weak to Rock. Ooh, what type is Flygon? Oh, it's a dragon ground, so... <sighs> Electric attacks aren't going to do anything. But, Surf can... Well, actually, it's part dragon type, so... Of course, they didn't do anything. This is simply impossible! I don't got a lot of money for that. How can someone as pathetic as you beat me? Uh-oh. Ree, 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 ree. Zeh, 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 zeh. That was an epic hit from Zekrom. Oh, and Rishrim counters with another epic hit. And they go in for a second epic hit each. That looked like a powerful hit from Zekrom, but Reshiram counters it. And then I think my game is broken. Oh, nope. Arceus just had to come in. And glide around these Pokemon for a few seconds. What? That incredible! The power of Arceus exceeds even our wildest dreams. Perfect. Everything will work out after all. <laughs> team's team, retreat. You've done well. I hope you continue being a great trainer and achieving your dreams. Now the Pokemon Society and I will continue fighting Team Steam leaders at any cost. Goodbye, Fetch. So, was I not supposed to come here? Maybe I'm supposed to go back down to that one place. Which was over here, I think. It was actually in this room. No one's there now. So maybe I'm supposed to go up here. Oh no, we get stopped by Ethan. 
Oh, hello, Fetch. I see your, that your Pokemon team has gotten stronger since our last meeting. I'm after the 7th gym badge, but I think I could take a break to face you. Yeah, my team's gotten along strong, a lot stronger. You want to see my overpowered Pokemon team? Ha! Huh, level 49. Child's play. Agron. Don't need a switch, even though I could have to Charizard, it would have done the same amount of damage, I'm pretty sure. Or not, because this Pokemon wanted to go for Protect. Instead of a good move. You only shorthanded your demise. We did it. I took out his entire team in three attack. Well, four attacks because his Agron used Protect. Wow, good work. I think that Professor Jasmine and your mom are really proud of you. You're becoming a great trainer. I feel you can accomplish great things and surprise me each time we meet. But next time, you'd better be ready for a challenge. Well, 14. <clears throat> Can I get an ice Pokemon here? Not yet. But this Blizzard today, the best thing to do is battle. Oh, look at that. It's another ice type Pokemon. This is going to do nothing. Okay, this took out the Pokemon. Love us, sir. Love a surf is the best move. Maybe not as good as flamethrower, but it's still a good move. Yes, there's a place where I can get some encounters. After finding out what TM14 and 46 arcs. I never looked at what TM14 was. Okay, it was Blizzard, and 46 is Thief. Um, Blizzard is a really good ice team, I'm pretty sure. Let's check it out. I just have to wait till my repel wears off. There we go. Let's see what our encounter is. It's a Snover. Snover's not the best Pokemon because it's got that four times weakness to ice, to grass, to, 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 to fire. It would have weakness to ice, but it's it doesn't because ice resists itself it's the only type that ice resists and I think it would have a fighting weakness it would have a fighting weakness if it weren't for the fact that a flying weakness if it weren't for the fact that ice again. Flying doesn't do that much against ice. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I can't attack this thing. I'm not giving up this thing because it could be a good Pokemon in the future. There we go. Ooh, it's a new mole. I'm gonna see if I can find... Any good nickname for Snover. Oh, you know what? This name kind of inspired me. But I'm just gonna call it... Um... Thanks to... Someone... On Pokemon... Dot net, P-K-M-N dot net. We're gonna call this Snover Yeti. And now we're going on with our day. Keep on forgetting to switch out for alligator with someone else. Teddy Ursa, how do you not have an Ursa ring? Manetric, that's the electric type. Why do you not have a. No, electric. Manetric is the evolved form. I'm thinking of Electrike is the unevolved form. I also thought Muck had Earthquake on his moveset. But he doesn't. Charizard's sure, gonna level up soon. Probably after this Pokemon, I don't know how much experience I'm gonna get from Cloyster, but you never know. It's not super effective because he's part water type and water resists. Do I go up or to the right? Okay, I don't go to the right. Obviously, that's a bad idea. And now let's just switch out our Pokemon for Charizard because I keep on forgetting to do that. Why was Mux so damaged? Why are we almost at 50 minutes and I'm still recording? I shards that move that every time it attacks in consecutive turn it gets stronger, right? Or is that Ice Ball? It's one of those two. Okay, I thought Prinplup was evolved into its steel type, not an ice type. Huh. I want to get to the next town before we end off the episode, which is probably going to get us close to the 55 minute mark. Which, that's great. 
getting through an entire team steam mission as well as the next route, that's great for an episode. And then I might do the encounter, the next route encounter in this episode as well? Because I'm pretty sure there's a route right after the town that we can get an encounter from. Ooh, never melt ice could be great if we ever use a bomb of snow. Not a bomb of snow yet. I don't even know how to evolve it into a bomb of snow. It's probably by level up. What? In Minetric. Wow, why the sudden drop in level? I can never remember which type is which in Generation 3. I think Fire is a special type. Because I know Dark is a special type. I think Water is a special type as well. I don't know if Grass is a physical type or not. Oh, yay, the whole screen's shaking because... I'm poisoned. Okay. Please tell me that's not the. Mm. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. So, unfortunately, that's all the time we have in this episode! Isn't that just great? Yeah, um... I'm not taking on the ice puzzle today. Next time, we will take on that ice puzzle, get to the next town, get our encounters, probably fight the gym. Which I'm just guessing is an ice gym, because this route is an ice route. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.